After a five-year hiatus, Unity Theatre Ensemble made a welcome return to the stage this month with the stirring revival of one of the company's original musicals, Make a Joyful Noise. Unity's artistic director, Ralph E. Green, conceived of the show and wrote the script and lyrics in 1996. Bishop John Selders composed and arranged most of the music, arranged the rest, and contributed to some of the lyrics. The story begins where many would end, with the death of the main character, a young woman named Faith. She is confused about what has happened, but she meets three elders who help her transition to a new existence, in which she is to be of help to others who are still alive. In her new role, Faith first answers the call of a woman in prayer and then encounters her own grieving mother. The role that Faith plays for her mother, helping her through the loss of Faith, is the role the show is meant to perform for a world teetering on the brink of perilous times, to quote the author's note in the program. Faith leaves the world at the start of the play, but is immediately sent back by the powers above. You don't have to fully accept the worldview of Make a Joyful Noise to recognize that its sentiments are deeply felt and expressed with inspiring beauty in both song and dance by the entire Unity cast. Ralphie Green directed with the assistance of Bonnie Harmon. The choreographer was Andrea Smith. Shelley Miller made Faith a believable character who developed confidence and maturity as she grew into her new role. Her singing was terrific, but I could say that about anyone in the cast. The elders were Herman Gordon, Carl Clark, and Karen Matkins. Carol Saxton was the praying woman, and Jennifer Kelly was Faith's mother. Everyone in the cast was featured in at least one number, and they all took advantage of the opportunity to shine, including Thomasina Clark, Raffaele Darden, Sam Huddleston, Tony Stubblefield, and Stephen Williams. The show fit nicely onto the stage of the Ivory Theater with a set by Bill Murphy, lighting by Enoch Chambers, and costumes by Bonnie Harmon with the assistance of Thomasina Clark. It was good to see a show again at the Ivory, and it was especially good to see Unity Theater Ensemble again providing a much-needed outlet for outstanding talent in this community. Yes, and uh, some amazing voices in that cast from Unity Theater Ensemble, certainly. Let's hear some of that music. Yeah. Okay. 